President Muhammadu Buhari has nominated one of his media aides, Loretta Onochie, as a national commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Senate President Ahmad Lawan on Tuesday read the letter from Buhari with Onochie from Delta State alongside three other nominees. Well-known poet and emeritus professor of literature, John Pepe Clark, is dead. The professor's death was announced in a statement signed by Professor C.C. Clark for the family and Lai Clark for the children. The professor died on Tuesday, October 13, 2020. <laughs> On the foreign scene, the police in Uganda has commenced investigation into the death of a 22-year-old local football player who died after being reportedly assaulted by his teammates. The deceased, identified as Church Chulawasi, was allegedly assaulted by his teammates in Lamu district, northern Uganda, after he made an error that led to a goal during a friendly football match between the two local football teams. <laughs> In entertainment, popular Nollywood actress Chacha Ike has made a video warning her elder brother Ike Ike who blamed her health issues on her husband Austin Fanny. The Fanny family has been in the news for some days after Chacha took to her Instagram page to announce the breakdown of her marriage. She was later rushed to the hospital after she suffered a relapse. In a recent video shared by the actress, she explained herself to her fans and some hidden secrets of her marriage, childhood and her relationship with her siblings to the public. <music> Also in entertainment, Nigerian singer Charles Chukwemeka Oputa, popularly known as Charlie Boy and fondly called Area Father, has stated that calling for reforms in the police force is a wrong call. The veteran singer mocked the calls for police reform by alleging that reformed Boko Haram members are seeing people being absorbed into the Nigerian army and police. He further described police reforms as a joke while pointing out that criminals don't reform criminals. <laughs> And finally in sport, Kubrat Pulev has confirmed that he will face the world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua in a title match on December 12th. Joshua was originally scheduled to fight Pulev on June 20 with a second date in July amid the coronavirus pandemic. He did not specify if the match would be behind closed doors due to COVID-19 restrictions as early expected, prompting Joshua's promoter Eddie Hearn to say he was willing to move the fight to the Middle East if an audience is allowed there. That's all on the news today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow our various social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My name is Evangel. Thanks for watching.